This is a 2016 Street 750, the XG750. To change the pulley bolt, pull the side panel and remove the pulley cover. I took off the front cover. I used this 5 millimeter, this 5 millimeter, and this 5 millimeter. There's four 5 millimeter screws. That's a 17 millimeter there. Okay, I'm in some higher gear. We're going to see if I can pop this guy off. Nope. I'm turning compression. So that means I got to pull up another gear if I can. Move that wheel. And I'm going to use a, a bar to break the tent, you know, to hold the wheel in place. Hold on. Nothing like an inch steel bar. Now, I'm going to put some pressure on this. And I hope the pulley doesn't get hurt. Yeah, there's some. Back around. Chassis steady. All right. Well, I'm keeping my tooling away from foot and foot here. Now, let's pull this bad boy out all by himself. Okay, I'm lucky. I'm lucky because this bolt is in one piece and uh, I'm happy about that. So I'll bring back the ARP hardened job and we'll plug him in. Now you can see the flange nut and the nut tapers, the flange of the nut tapers. Needed all the material it could get and they kind of put a cheapie on there. And this is not a hardened, uh, or as hardened as it ought to be for this job. Here's my 18 millimeter, it fits 18, it's probably American, but he's lubed with the grease that came with the hardware and he's ready to go. So, so are we. And he's going in pretty good. It's a, what is it, 12 point at least. Now, I'm going to use a simple crescent right tight. Right. Well, we're taking up the slack on the back wheel. That's going to be heavy. Okay. Hear that guy clean. All right. Now, here's Johnny. Here's a 18 millimeter with uh, points to match a Craftsman torque wrench and here we go. We're going to go by the Harley uh, spec to get this guy in. And it's pretty hefty. Here He's locked in. That wasn't quite enough. Ratchet back. Everybody's taking up the tension. Here we go. Knock. Okay. That's about, about 80, almost 80 foot pounds. There he is. The torque wrench clicked. So we can button them back up. Here's that, what I use to break up the force of the rear wheel and what I'm going to do is uh, get this guy back down to neutral and he'll be pretty much ready to go got it done 
I'm lucky in that this guy did not break up. I've seen some pretty nasty stuff showing pictures of uh, what can happen with one of these. I'm glad it didn't happen to me. I've got over 4,000 miles and I just saw some pictures of a fellow who had like 2,000 on his machine. So we made it. Now I can worry about something else on this thing. I love it.